Hi. I'm glad to see you, beautiful soul. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the law of mirrors and how these mirrors affects directly and indirectly our life. There are seven mirrors. Let's see the first one. Neville Goddard said, "Stop trying to change the world since it is only the mirror. Man's attempt to change the world by force is as fruitless as breaking a mirror in the hope of changing his face. Leave the mirror and change your face." Leave the world alone and change your conceptions of yourself. The reflection then will be satisfactory. This mirror is about present. This mirror manifests what we contain in this moment. For example, if you are surrounded by people who are angry or frustrated, it is possible that you are radiating maybe unconscious these emotions in general. Angry people attracts angry people. Happy people attracts happy people. Let's presume that you have a meeting. You are late. The traffic is horrible. and you realize that everyone around you is moving slowly everyone is irritable everyone gets in front of you everyone drives you crazy and you know what this law acted if you have the fear of loneliness and you desperately want a partner it is very possible to attract a partner who will abuse you in any way taking advantage of your weaknesses solve your fear and your problem will be solved if you have the fear that you will be cheated it is possible to attract cheaters and you will ask yourself what did i do to deserve this It works the same on positive. If you smile, people around you will smile too. You attract open-minded people? It means you are an open-minded person too. There is a quote to describe this better. Birds of a feather flock together. But if you are constantly in bad situations and people that makes you mad or sad keep appear in your life, but you truly know you're not like them, it is a big possibility that there is a connection between mirror 1 and mirror 2. Mother Teresa said, "If you judge people, you have no time to love them." This mirror is about what you judge. Have you ever wondered why this type of people keep appear in my life? Why the people I hate? This thing happens because the universe is sending you again and again people who have the same behavior like yours. And this is going to happen until you realize that if you are not going to stop from judging, they will continue to appear again and again in your life. Every time you live a tense situation or a moment of anger, ask yourself, they are mirroring what I feel now? If the answer is no, ask yourself, they are showing what am I judging? This is how you can check yourself all the time by passing through all mirrors. Doing this, you get to know you better, and in time, you can reduce this type of situations. Next, the third mirror. The third mirror is about something that you lost, gave, or something that was took from you. Have you ever been in someone's presence and for inexplicable reasons, you just wanted to spend more time with that person? Find out. This is the mirror that shows us we are seeing in that person what we don't see in ourselves, or maybe there's a void that wants to be filled. It's like a puzzle from which we've lost some pieces. When we resolve our puzzle, we become complete. If we lost our joy, we will appreciate joyful and happy people. If you meet a person like that, ask yourself, what I really see in this person? What I have lost? What was taken from me? It could be innocence, honesty, courage, love, or anything else. Many of our relationships where we fell in love are based on this mirror. How many times have you seen couples that get into a relationship or got married really quickly because of some lightning feelings then after a short period of time these feelings disappeared in this case this relationship is a big plus because they healed each other they completed what was missing let's see mirror number 4 the fourth mirror mirror of obsession and addiction please take a moment and think about about what kind of obsessive or addictive behavior do you have many of you are thinking only at alcohol cigarettes drugs or lucky games they are addictions too but they are not the only ones here's another example obsession or addiction for career we all know people that were so obsessed about their career that they neglected their friends and their family we say sacrifices are necessary if you want something of course they are but what we need to understand is that everything needs balance we often give up at pieces from our life at the loved ones to make place for addictions and obsessions the beauty of this mirror is that she produces effects over time you don't lose your friends or family overnight Everything happens bit by bit. Through obsessions or addictions, we are in the situation of distancing, little by little from what we love in life, and this distance mirror is exactly our obsessions and addictions. Now, let's see the fifth mirror. Mirror of our parents. This is maybe the most intense mirror. It's about the way we live our lives. This mirror shows us how much our parents influenced our lives. For example, when we get married, we will be tempted to choose our partner after similarity of our parents. This happens because when we are kids, we see our parents like gods, and we also wish to become like them, taking their behavior, good and healthy behavior, but also the unhealthy one. This is how we grew up. We have to be careful at everything that we took from them, because the subconscious copied like a printer every behavior, 
every gesture, and their reactions become your reactions. Also, if in your relationship with your parents, you often feel that whatever you do, is never good enough for them. It is a big possibility that in this relationship, what was mirrored to you by your parents, to be exactly what you think about yourself. 5 Mirrors Done Next, the sixth mirror, the dark night of the soul. This mirror was called by ancients the dark night of the soul, and they were suggesting a very rough experience, through which most of us pass in life. They are those experiences that turns our world upside down, and they change our vision about life. This is the moment when we face big challenges and our deepest fears, these moments do not appear until we are 100% ready. The most important thing is that our soul gives us these opportunities to grow and to show us that we are not victims. When you look through the eyes of soul, you see that these experiences are valuable and useful. Even if you think, how this shock can be useful for me. There is a saying, God does not give you more than you can carry. Also, with the help of this mirror, we defeat our biggest fears, putting us face to face with them. You have to remember, when a door closes, another one opens. Always. It's law. And now, let's see the final mirror. The seventh mirror. Everything is perfect just the way it is. The seventh mirror says that everyone will perceive and treat us exactly in the way we see ourselves. If we have a low self-esteem, and we don't recognize our true beauty, other persons will not recognize this beauty either. If we feel lost, this is the way they will see us. Everything that comes to you, everything you have is the result of what you thought about yourself. If we change our perception about us, we change the world. Think about this, in whatever top you find yourself, there will always be someone smarter than you, someone richer than you, etc. But with what price, just to have a good image for society? Or to impress someone? Try not to compare yourself to anyone, but yourself. The only way we can see ourselves losers, it's by comparing ourselves to another person. Be the best version of you. The purpose of these mirrors is to help us to know more and to push us to evolution. Our external reality is a reflection of what we contain on the inside. Therefore, we create our own reality. Responsibility is always in our hands. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, don't forget to press like and subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. Let me know your opinion in comments.